welcome to the channel the practical study guys today our topic is bernoulli's equation bernoulli's equation is very useful for water calculation in pipeline before moving ahead it is to request you please share subscribe and comments what is bernoulli's equation Bernoulli's equation is the relationship between velocity and pressure. For example, this is a pipeline and this is the fluid which is moving through the pipeline. We select two points, point number one and point number two. Bernoulli's equation is based on the relationship that energy entering the pipeline will release from the pipeline. That means energy is conserved. The energy which will enter point one, the same energy will be will be leave from point two. So energy into point one is equal to energy out from point two. This is the Bernoulli's equation, which says that the point one parameters, I mean pressure, plus half of density and velocity square. Plus density, gravity, and height. Height of the point one is equal to point two parameters: pressure, density, velocity, density, gravity, and height. Basically, this is the sum of all energies at point one: pressure energy, kinetic energy, potential energy. Similarly, all energies at point two. So, P represents pressure, D represents density, V represents velocity, and H represents height. One of my subscriber asked me a question that if I have a pipeline and there is a hole of 10 mm tire in pipeline, then what will be the water flow rate from that hole? So today. our practical example is based on his question suppose we have a pipeline of dia 150 mm it and it is pressurized at a pressure of 10 kg per cm square and it has a hole of dia 10 mm then what will be the flow rate in one hour so this problem will be solved can be solved by bernoulli's equation suppose that point 2 is the point where the where, which is the hole in uh, this pipe and this discharge the water and point 1 would take on the top surface of the water now now bernoulli equation as we already know that this is the bernoulli equation now how we will implement before implementation of bernoulli equation few parameters we need to decide for example when water will discharge from point 2 then the velocity then the velocity at point 2 will be much higher as compared to the velocity at point 1 because the water moves from point 1 to point 2 very slow because for complete pipeline is pressurized so at point 1 you can consider that the velocity will be zero can be neglected the velocity is very much smaller than the point 2 so the velocity of point 1 can be neglect so water velocity v1 velocity at point 1 we have taken zero point 1 is the starting point so height we have considered zero also the discharge point point 2 is to the atmosphere so the pressure at point 2 will be Equal to atmospheric pressure that is one zero one three two five newton per meter square, and pressure at point one, which is the pipe pressure, is one ten kg per centimeter square. Converting into newton per meter square, we get nine eight zero six six five newton per meter square. Applying the Bernoulli's equation and putting all the values. V one nine eight zero double six five plus half density of water is nine nine seven kilogram per meter cube. As we already know that velocity is zero at point one. 
density 997 multiplied by gravitational uh, uh, gravitational energy or acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 and height h1 is the starting reference point so it will be taken zero p2 is the pressure at point 2 which will be equal to atmospheric pressure half multiplied by density v2 is the required parameter density multiplied by gravitational energy multiplied by height since if you uh, see that the point 2 is uh, the distance from point 2 to point 1 is 0 0.1778 meter as we as we have shown in our previous slide so putting all the values we get velocity of square 1760 taking square root we get 41 meter per second which is our required value and so we the water will be discharged from point 2 at the speed of 41 meter per second now the question was what will be the flow rate in one hour we have the velocity and we have the discharge hole dia uh, converting into radius the half of diameter we will find area of the 10 mm hole 3.14 multiplied by radius square so we get the area point 4 times 0 785 meter square and flow rate is equal to velocity into area so putting the values we get 0 0.003 to 1 meter cube per second converting into hour multiplied by 60 we get 0 0.1931 meter cube per hour so this was our today video and i hope my subscriber has got the answer of his question if you like this video and if you want that i will make video for uh, your problem then please share with me so that i can make a video for you thank you so much